Uh, what kind of uh, alarm do you put on? You know, I would put like. I won't a, tell you. I would say it's like a tea time <laughs> drinking alarm. For me, I would make it like. <laughs> I'll make it like a famous song, like "Let's Get It On." <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> Are you scheduling my set? Because you know, it's not really up to the man. <laughs> It's also, it's also not up because this is not... That's why all okay. this headache. Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampis. Yes, and today we are discussing something I've prepared very nice. I've written it down here. We are discussing about, you know, when you've been married for a long time, scheduling sex or scheduled sex in a marriage. You want to schedule? Do you actually schedule sex? I don't think it's a bad idea. Ah. And you know, I just really, if you haven't seen that yet, a few days ago we spoke about... Uh, the ugly side of marriage and one of those is really having intimacy with the same person in the same place over and over maybe when it's just the two of you it's not a problem but when also children comes it's definitely most of the time the only all the time the only place you have now is your bedroom so if you haven't seen that video we're gonna leave it up here move to that and let's start the topic i definitely think you know it's not a bad idea what do you think Think. I don't know. I just like it. It sounds so weird. So um, you're just going to have an alarm on your phone and, and sex time. Okay, let's go have sex like that. How would you schedule sex? I wouldn't schedule sex. To be honest, sex is whenever you feel like. Okay, you have children, right? Mm -hmm. Let me say you want like you want a big family. You have three kids. Yeah. They are all over the house all the time. It's one afternoon in the afternoon you want to have sex the kids are also running around what are you going to do you cannot have it sex. yeah exactly maybe that's why you need to schedule it no or maybe you can just uh, push them in the kettle what do you mean what do you... okay you you should schedule it in a sense that okay maybe you are <laughs> you know when the your child uh, take napping, uh, so you have like 20, 30 minutes, so you can have a quickie, maybe some Scheduled, maybe that's yeah, marriage life. That's true. One or, I think that's... Okay, true. whenever you have free time for... <laughs> yeah. I think these are things that don't even come to your mind when you think of having children. Mm -hmm. But I think when, when you have children, like, we don't have children, but I sometimes we spend time with the friends who have kids, and when I see how busy they are the whole day, Mm -hmm. You definitely, once we get to that level of uh, we're married, no, I mean, we are already married, but once you start a family having a baby here around, we have to schedule. And recently I, I came up with this topic because I was looking for some information online and I saw some YouTube couple already talk about also this, mm -hmm. like how they are scheduling sex, especially when they now have families. Okay, so you feel like you're definitely going to strategize it and make sure... I know my, you said it, I know my child sleep only for about 20 to 25 minutes, minutes during the day. During so, the day. That, so you kind of schedule it, but you don't just want to mention it as scheduled sex. Yes, exactly. Because scheduled sex is like going to destroy the thing. And the term schedule is going to know, destroy it's like, the it's just oof. Yeah, it's like, ah, okay. <laughs> but I, so I think when you have your child napping in the afternoon, you definitely have to... I have five minutes, the child is going to wake up and start oh, crying. Oh, what happened when, uh, if you are in the middle of the thing and then the child starts crying? You know, there's only one priority as a child. You have to go, I think. Oh, <laughs> my think about goodness. it. Think about it. So, I personally think it's not a bad <laughs> idea. Maybe oh, well. I th when you have children, Mm -hmm. there is so many things come in play and they're kind of just the center of your life now they are active also they're not really the sleeping most of the time during the day like so now, now this one hour stay in your room mm -hmm. that's how i'm scheduling yeah, yeah. It's stay in and your you're room. going to be cool with that <laughs> uh, i already feel that yeah. stay in your room <laughs> it's, it's, it's a i don't know it's a play date with yourself but stay in your room. play day. <laughs> a play date with, with yourself. yourself and your dinosaurs whatever you play with but this one hour is 
stay in your room. Like, if I get it right, you're going to focus more on making sure that child has a solid schedule. Yes, <laughs> no sugar, no sugar, sugar no chocolate, no churros. No, anything that is sugar in that is uh, exciting food for the children <laughs> should be get left out. We focus more on vegan porridge and... Yeah, we, we can feed them with uh, some, something that make them sleepy, I don't know. You schedule right Porridge, porridge, I think. Heavy porridge. <laughs> we are full and you sleep. Uh, heavy porridge, they always make you sleepy. Absolutely. Because it's so heavy. So heavy, yes. I don't have children, but I know people sometimes say, kids, they just wake up anytime. I mean, all the best scheduling these children and to make sure they have a solid schedule. schedule for you to get time. I think, anyways, it's very important to have this is, kind yeah. of. Because I'm telling you, I think when you have children, there's so much in play. You somehow, either you schedule now the children to say this one hour in the afternoon you're sleeping, so I have a little bit of time for me and my wife. Or otherwise, you say, okay, at least two Saturdays or so in a week or every Saturday, I have a nanny who comes and takes the child for a playground or somewhere. And then I have maybe five hours with my wife at home. Yeah, that is true. And I think now we're talking more like at home. But I think one of the challenges is also when you go on vacation with a child. Yeah. Usually vacation, like now, when we don't have children, it's time to spice things up. It's just the two of you, no work, no telephones, no nothing. So what do you do? You keep it hot and steamy. But when mm. you have a baby vacation, you're also going with the kids. They are, they are also excited playing around. So I think you definitely, again, want to have a nice schedule. I would always look for a hotel where I know that this... I think some hotel already have this uh, working area, like baby playing area that I also supervise where you can say, Oh, please, watch over them for the next four hours oh, for a steamy you, hot massage. Otherwise, it's an amazing holiday. You leave the children with uh, with granny. Oh. That is also very nice. But At for the village. Us, yeah, they, now I'm thinking we live here. We first, <laughs> <laughs> let's be realistic. We live in Germany. We fly to Namibia. Yeah. We do first and then another thousand if kilometers you, down. If, and then, if we want to do safari, why not? I think the issue with uh, leaving the children with grandparents for us is the least option because they just live so far away from mm -hmm. us. So I would probably always rely more on, if we want to do a nice romantic holiday in Namibia, like just go to around a Tokyo area in the most amazing resort is fine, drop them at the village, mm -hmm. then pick them up. Otherwise, if you're going to Asia, for example, or to America or wherever, I would just try to look for a hotel where I know that they maybe they have some daycare or something like that. So I can also, if you somehow, I just know this schedule is important and for a marriage to work. Oh, I see myself going to be really freaking out. I would need a schedule. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, because the first one is like both of you don't know what to do. But do you think it's important to schedule? Yeah, I think that uh, if you look in an optic in which you are having children, is the only way, basically. Or otherwise, because also when you get to bed, at the end of the day, you, you are, are so tired. <laughs> to be right, like, I know those kids, we stand and they run the whole day up and down. You're so tired, you have somehow... You need to find time. It's because in the day, uh, morning you have to go to work, <laughs> so drop you can the day care, drop pick, the the day, pick them up, them. Uh, clean them. Okay, are we any children? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Ah, you know what? I think we have discussed so many times about having children, but somebody never really got it. But I think when I brought this topic, you have some thoughts to do. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I see that I in your mind. Me. Like, All the time. Ah, now, is this going to kind of my intimacy area might be, and I might be influenced. Da, 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 da. Not good. Now, Let's keep the children away on the side. Then move on. Even I think you don't have children when you are together for a long time. You have work as well. That also gets in the way. I still think. Why are you looking at me like that? I still. Are you telling me that we should schedule sex even now? Ah uh, no, thank you. I'm sorry. Are you scheduling my sex? Because you know it's not really up to the man. <laughs> It's also, it's also not up because this is not That's why all oh, this headache. Yeah. I understand now. Listen, yeah. listen. I think in a relationship, 
it's not only up to it's it's not up to a man or it's not up to a woman. You only have intimacy when both of you want. I can't break you if you don't want to. Now this time when most people are just on home office as well, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, I think it's also important that you know where to draw the line. I don't necessarily mean you need to have an alarm. Say, oh no, that one is not bad too. And the alarm goes. Yeah, uh, it's terrible. No, no. I mean, for me, come on. It's, it's something different. Maybe to be excited. Uh, what kind of uh, alarm do you put on? You know, I would put like. I won't a, tell you. I would no. say it's like a tea time <laughs> drinking alarm. For me, I would make it like. <laughs> I'll make it like a famous song, like "Let's Get It On." <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah, but you know, I, don't oh, yeah, I right. see you upset, and I don't think it's bad. Now imagine, <laughs> you know, and this is why I think there has to be a strategy. Imagine you are, it's it's a uh, you you are, it's maybe four in the in the in the afternoon. You are at a conference call with no, your wife. No, best. Wait, 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 sorry, I can't. You are at a conference call with your with your, with your business partner, right? Then the <laughs> Let's get it on. Goes off. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice ringtone. I, I, I have to go. I'm sorry. It's, good. it's not going to be clear. No, absolutely, it's not no, clear. It's okay. But exactly, this is what you don't want to happen. And mm-hmm. and I think some t- you work at home, and I know sometime in our house it's also crazy because you're like getting oh, to yeah, some yeah, yeah. because it's true. Sometime in our house it's also crazy because we are like getting to another point of doing something exciting. Then a Skype call. Two and two, two and two. So I think it's better if you probably communicate to your partner, like if you work at home and you have home office and you probably work on the same business mm-hmm. where you say after Today four is off. or after five or on Wednesday we only work until twelve. Other days we work until five. Then no, it's not like you are scheduling, but we know that after five computers are closed. Maybe you can cook something together, something nice. Open a bottle of wine. Open a bottle of wine. Then you will realize start that. Start on you the candle. Start on the candle. Then, you know, it's a natural process. You know that, okay, now it's our time. Mm-hmm. Whatever way it goes, it's our time. You don't feel like, oh, it's five. Your partner's mind is at another stage and you're like, I'm, I have some emails to work on. I need to think about it. No. So no. I think it make a whole lot of sense. For me, it's whenever I feel. Yeah, but wait, wait. you are on a Skype call with your co. Okay, you feel like making love, right, or having mm-hmm. adult time with me. Adult time, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wait, that is like wait. scheduled sex. Yeah, wait, no wait, wait. Adult wait, time. Wait, wait. You feel like having adult time with me or intimacy whatsoever with me, but I'm sitting on my computer. On a Skype call, are you going to? What are you going to do? You can't. So it's not always like you have it when you want, just because you're married. I'm going to come behind you. Oh, exactly, and that's not what we want, and that's why we want. To, exactly, and that's why we want to say, when we are free, it's it's our time, and then the alarm, or otherwise the alarm goes on, and I say, sorry, I really this is an important call from my mom. I have to go and from my mama. My mama, I have to go. I don't know what should I say. This is my husband's and I's alarm for getting busy. Yes. No. <laughs> because I think when you're dating, it's it's, it's always kind of scheduled. <laughs> no, you know why? You know. No. no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You know why? Why? Because when you're dating, when I come visit you in Rome for a week, that week I'm off work or anything is our time. Mm-hmm. And they schedule. No, it's, it's like that time is allocated for that any time. I think, but, yeah, I think that, it, that comes to your mind and the person you are. So you think that I, uh, basically every kind of sex is scheduled. Of course. Putting on the calendar. And the, okay, so today, uh, no, seven, no. Seven, uh, <laughs> I don't know seven minutes past three, we have 25 minutes. Then also uh, note it in the diary. And diary. Oh, <laughs> no. and uh, talking about your partner. Remember, tomorrow <laughs> we have scheduled 25 minutes sex. Let's check on the schedule for tomorrow. No, <laughs> for tomorrow, be ready. <laughs> Please kill me now. No, baby, that's not what I'm talking about. That's ah. exactly not what I'm talking about. This is about just allocating time. Like I'm saying, it's about really saying. So anyway, and now I don't feel having sex, to be honest, because all we about this talk about scheduled sex, uh, uh, adult time. You don't need to feel like kids that are going basically <laughs> to, to ruin your life. 
<laughs> yeah, talk about kids really like, from that perspective. Yeah, I, I really uh, I uh, feel. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's that's enough for today. <laughs> the alarm, the alarm is on now. Let's I'm going to put some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get it on. Is that the alarm? Yeah, that is definitely something that is going to wake you up if you're <laughs> in the night. It was okay. during the night at twelve. Oh. Like, are yeah, you now so in the mood? Are super excited? Absolutely not. And it's not a problem because I scheduled another time, so... Oh, yes, I am. No, no, it's not the scheduled time, you have to wait. Okay. Anyway, guys, we can talk about this all the time, but we really just wanted to highlight some things here. I think, obviously, the whole take home, for me, I think, at some point, marriage life, working together, I mean, and raising a family, you might want to just find... Not necessarily that you have an alarm, but maybe just kind of have some strategy. When do you have that quality time? Oh, let me, I don't want to be specific, be straightforward. I'll say, when do you want to just take that adult time? Yeah, and that is the thing. Now I'm, I'm thinking about all the headaches that all these women have. They have yeah, a tell schedule. Me, you, you have a lot of headaches too. Uh, mm, no, no, not when I have to have sex. I, actually, if I have to have sex or I feel like having sex, I, don't, I never had a headache. Oh, the headache just completely disappeared. <laughs> what? So if we have headache and the sex comes to your mind? There is no more headache. You yeah, but when we have a child, we're definitely going to know that the sex Yeah, but that is natural be. selection. It's like you don't have any other free time. I can understand yeah, that. So but it's not something that you schedule. It's just literally there is no other free time. So it's either... Yeah, so you schedule to the time that you have. It's not scheduled. Oh, it's scheduled it's the, the only time, time available. <laughs> but, <laughs> what do you think about scheduled sex? Do you are like uh, Lampy that uh, think about scheduled sex should be always planned and uh, there are specific times where you should plan your intimacy with your partner or you are like me that you are like whenever you feel like uh, check if your partner has the same uh, feelings and if you are the yeah your partner has the same feeling the baby is on the floor crying the the let me say you don't have a children and let I know let it cry on the floor Ooh. <laughs> let it cry on the floor no you know we obviously this is our take on this topic and we don't have children i know people here on this channel they have children yes and i want to hear from you do you kind how do you deal with intimacy after having children do you kind of find a strategy how to work around this time do you do schedule i just want to hear that from you and if you're new to this channel Give us a like, subscribe to our channel. We do a whole lot of relationship, discussion, travel, everything about us, which is mainly travel, relationship, problem, because we have quite a couple of problems in our relationship. What, quite a couple of problems. <laughs> quite. And this one is Ske also... Scheduled sex. Scheduled sex is also one of those. Ah, yes. See you in our next video.